we have a little bit. I don't know. Unless it disturbs the recording, we can try a bit of the fun. <coughs> 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 so, <coughs> Om, Namaste, welcome everyone to Satsang today. I'm very happy to see you brave it through the heat and you still <laughs> come today. Very good, very happy to see you. And also, welcome to the many friends who are joining us via broadcasting from all over the world. And it's been so wonderful to have this um, support, I call it support of uh, internet, so that people are watching sometimes in places where it's very uh, unlikely that I would go there, at least not for some time. And so I can say welcome to you to be sharing satsang in real time. Very, very, very happy for that. Thank you. Good. Sona satsang today. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Who is first? You want to come? Okay, you can. Hmm? Ah, very good. It's ice. <laughs> Hello. Namaste. Namaste, darling. <laughs> Yeah. It's an ice pack, actually. It's the <laughs> actually, it is ice. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Good, good. Okay, my love, go ahead. Oh, I am of them. I did uh, more than 25 years of meditation intensive. And like a half year ago, Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Take your time also, oh. you can do this. No? Mm -hmm. Half a year ago, I did my own silent retreat. And I uh, come out to, uh, to drop meditation total. And so, sorry, I missed something? What? Uh, I dropped the meditation you totally. Okay. So it was the result of this retreat. And uh, after that, so uh, started a big struggle in my mind, and uh, I was like lost in my spiritual life. Mm -hmm. And uh, just some days later, I found you on the internet, mm -hmm. and you gave me uh, a lot of good instructions. And I was doing your guided meditations, yeah. looking at the satsangs, and I found. Uh, such an opening, nice. such much more joy. I before I did a struggle against the ego, yes. and you say let it pass, yes. and that helped me so much. Now <laughs> my life is much more joy, much more alive. Yes, yes. and yeah. Now I, I think I found a little bit of this space. Uh, what you pointing to, mm -hmm. there's such an opening, how I feel, always, yeah, this joy and, uh, yeah, be happy, like yeah. this. Yes, yes. And, mm -hmm. yeah, so I do now, and now I'm here. <laughs> very good. So. <laughs> very, very good. And, uh, so now, mind doesn't trouble you anymore. No, I'm. I'm agree with this now, and I it's much more silent, yes. and and so it helped me so much. Yes. <sighs> yeah. I'm so thankful that you give all this on internet. Yeah. 
I can do it from my home and so yes, yes. and your power comes on. There is no distance. Yes, this is true. There is no distance, no it's, it's totally irrelevant uh, in the realm of a self or truthfulness. There is no such uh, trouble. Uh, distance is meaningless, it really doesn't um, have any real effect. Yeah. You've discovered that, no? Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Very good. <laughs> I am lost for words, I have. <laughs> I'm just happy for you. And see you're radiant also. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Very happy. Very happy. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. This question just came up, but it's more like an experience. Uh, when I'm at Sahaja, I find it very easy to stay with the self. Yes. And then I go home, and then it's usually one day, and then after that one day, I fall asleep. And the mind feels like quicksand, so as soon as I give a little attention to something personal in the mind, mm -hmm. it seems to just suck, you know? And then it, I really feel like I'm falling asleep to myself again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you say when you're in Sahaja, it's very easy to yes. remain in the self or as the self when? Mm. There is a difference, you see? Mm, yes. <clears throat> the sense of staying in something is like we're a number of people sitting in this room. Mm. So there's two things. The room Yes. And the people in it, and then the people out of it, yes. so coming and going like that. Yeah. But if you say when you're in Sahaja, it's easier to remain as the self, then the self does not have to remain. If you say I, I to stay in the self, then there is two. To stay as the self, there's only one. And it creates a difference internally also. Mm -hmm. Because when you feel I can go, when I'm in the Sahaja, I can stay in the Self. It's like, it's an effort, but it's easier when I'm here. When I'm not there, then easily I succumb to the tendencies in the mind, the mind comes and quickly it goes, I yes. guess. Yes. Mm -hmm. You, you often speak of being established as the Self. Yes. Somehow I don't really feel that. Mm -hmm. that, that, that yeah, it's this clear happened. from what you say. Yes. Also, yeah. yes. Because uh, what you speak would appear to be the norm. Most people would say like that. And they speak like that also. That, uh, I, um, you know, I come in, yes, I feel myself now, now I feel really stable, I feel really one with myself. Like it's an option, I feel one with myself. But then somehow I got a telephone call, it was not very pleasant, and then uh, somehow I was out of myself again. The language, it's not really true. For myself, I would say it's not a truth. It is, it's, it's apparent, it appears as though. And that feels like that because you identify not as consciousness, but as a person. And the person's ground is never secure, it's always fluctuating, always changing, you see. So when you speak from the position of a person, you know, sometimes you say, oh, it's so wonderful, oh, it's so wonderful, everything is going so beautifully. But maybe the next breath or the next day or something, you'll be saying, oh, it's all chaos again. Mm -hmm. Because that is the nature of the, the personal self, or personal sense of self. Mm -hmm. So that has to change because that's not a fact. 
it's actually a fiction, in fact. It's a fiction in the fact. <laughs> the fact is that you, you are the self. But even to say you are the self is meaningless at this moment. The words will have no power for you. Because you are listening to them, you are hearing them from the position of the person. You see, if you identify as person, then what I'm speaking will seem like, yeah, but how do I get there and so on. Whereas I'm not talking about anything that has any distance at all. Hmm? It is already what is. But the belief, the habit also, seems more uh, to catch the attention. Hmm? But it seems that even when I don't give uh, attention to uh, the, the personal, the person. Okay. Um, so there's like what you, the same thing you do uh, during the uh, uh, meditation mm. uh, inquiry. Um, then. Okay, let's start where you said. Yes. You said even if I don't give attention to the person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You are who saying this? Let's slow down a little bit. When I don't give attention to the person, mm -hmm. okay, so the one speaking it must be not the person. Yes, exactly. Yes. 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 Okay, so you who speak and say, if I don't give attention to the person, yes, who are you who are speaking then? You have to identify yourself, you see. It has to be clear again for you when, what you are speaking. Yes. Because very often we are just speaking uh, out of habit and culture, and we say many things without being very clear and present with what we are saying, even without really understanding what we are saying. We know what we mean. Hmm? So there would be presence. The presence yes. would be out of uh, the personal mind. No, say it again. would be from the presence. You're asking this? I'm asking you to look. You see, if you say, if I don't give attention to the person or to the ego or to the mind, who is speaking to say, if I don't give attention to the ego, it cannot be the ego that is speaking. You see? So just take a second and just allow the clarity of that. That I cannot be the ego then. So if I'm not the ego speaking, because if I don't give attention or power to the ego mind, you see, if I don't do that, I is what, you see? And I is again the person. Really? You see, actually you are determining these things as you speak. Mm -hmm. And I want us to look at that that we are actually shaping what we believe. You are creating the things that you are saying you are believing in. We are perceiving what we are conceiving. You can change your statement and be with it, and the energy of what you say will change. Right now, same thing even. If you say, the one who says, the one who says, if I don't give attention to my ego, is itself the ego? I, I have a suspicion that it's just part of the mind that, you know, splits itself in two. I have a suspicion that it is part of the mind. I is what again? You must stand with your statement, you see. Because it is, it is actually revealing something, but you, you're not catching your own words. If I don't give, I have a suspicion that it is still the mind is playing both roles yes. as the one that is causing trouble mm -hmm. and the one who is being troubled. Yes. Okay? Yes. I have a suspicion it could be that. This I is what? Also it, mind? No, it no. cannot be because it's observing. It's observing. This. Okay. So, so yeah. So just be with that place where it's just observing. Hmm? 
It's watching. It's like if you're watching a movie or you're, what, you're in a theater and there's some scenes going on that's very pleasant and very nice. Two people are having a nice cup of tea on the stage and you're enjoying. And then suddenly they start to argue with each other. Hmm? But your temperature does not change. You're only observing because you're not involved in that. You're only looking. Hmm? So you don't identify with that. So now an argument starts on the stage and now they start to throw coffee at each other and next thing the table falls over and they're on the floor punching, punching and fighting <laughs> and stuff like that. Okay? Blood Does spattering. The, uh, eh? Blood spattering around. Okay, don't go too far now. <laughs> 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 yeah? But uh, the weakness, now, this is a good uh, example actually, the weakness of all of this, which is you sitting in your chair looking at this, can be involved emotionally, with not necessarily physically, but can be identifying with that and say, oh my God, what is, is it a real fight or is it part of the play? And get caught up with that. Or maybe just observing completely detachedly. Is possible or not? Yes. yes. There will be two different kind of witnessing then. The one who is looking and looking to see from any other person in the audience if they're reacting to, is this a real fight going on? Or is this part of the play? And then, you know, begins to get disturbed by the scene. That's also a weakness. But there's another weakness who is also just looking. And whether it is something real, like actually going on or not, they are still untouched by it. They are only observing. They are not judging or nothing. Mm -hmm. hmm? So they are not identified. Not identified. Yeah. So therefore, their seeing will be much more clear. Would you say that? Or the one who becomes passionately involved, emotionally involved with what's happening? No, the distance will make it more clear. Distance will make yeah. it more clear. How are you looking at it? How are you viewing the theatre of consciousness playing in your mind or as mind? Are you on the stage with all that is appearing or is there a place within you where you are simply looking but you are not emotionally or psychologically involved? Is it possible? Yes. Can you be there now? And what does it take to be there? Did you have to make some effort to cover some distance to be there? Or is it something very instant? I think the only effort is to relax, basically. <laughs> the only effort is to relax. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But is that what you want, just to relax? <laughs> mm? <laughs> uh, it, it, it seems that attention can move uh, in many ways. Yeah. And from uh, observation inside, I would love to just reverse uh, attention uh, to the self. So let's I try. So let's try something. Mm -hmm. And anybody can try it, together we can do. Attention is one of our most powerful tools, in fact, because wherever the attention go, it, it seems to it seems that we record that as that's my experience. Wherever the attention go, something and it, it is so intimate that we often re relate to attention as yourself. Like when the attention goes to the right, you say, I'm, I've gone over to the right, or something, no? But you cannot be the attention because you're able to observe attention also. Isn't it? Yes. You can say, actually, I can't concentrate on what you're saying. I can't concentrate on what you're saying because my attention is very restless at the moment. So something even observes if the attention is moving about. Okay, 
Yes. That which observes restless attention is that restless? No, no, it's yeah. I That's all you need to know. Oh. Are you there or not? I, I don't think I can be anywhere else, really. Thank you. <laughs> this is good. So therefore, the attention can move about, but the weakness of the movement of attention is not moving about. Yeah. Stay there. Don't be concerned about the other things that we see, they are bound in time. So they come and go, they come and go, they are not stable, they come and go. So we don't need to be concerned about them, even if they have a personal ringtone with them, you still don't have to identify with it. It's still only a phenomenon. It does sound very simple now, at yeah. this moment. Uh -huh. uh, about three hours ago we did. Yes, but three hours ago don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from memory or something. Like that. You see, and we, 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 are, we are faithful to memory, which is not necessarily the evidence of truth. Memory is also very interpretive. So we can look at that like what you are saying now, is that right now that seems really simple, it seems really simple, maybe obvious even. No? Because whatever is truth, it must be simple. It must be natural. It must be effortless within itself. It cannot be a complexity, it cannot be complicated and full of struggle. It cannot be. The one who struggles is the ego identity. Uh, would the ego then be interested in uh, being the Self? Yes. The ego can be interested in being the Self, because the ego is also the Self. It is just a very limited expression of the Self. It is also the Self, but it is a, a very contracted form of the self it becomes personal uh, it plays as a person but it is god's will that the ego also will have aspirations sometimes just for enjoying the senses or the sense objects but it also can have an attraction for the self you see this is the birth of spirituality religion and so on it is the person who is attracted to uh, spirituality or religion, but the person is also a form of consciousness. Um, um, something just came to my uh, mind. Um, at, at, at one point, uh, I uh, noticed that. Uh, Something in the ego, in the personal mind, uh, cannot accept that it, it's the self, that it can be uh, the self. Yes. It it feels so inferior that yes. anything uh, as vast and beautiful and loving mm. as the self is like, uh, I'm not good enough. You know. Yeah. It's yes. But I want to tell you something. This that feels. I am not good enough to be the self because the self is perfect. No, it seems humble and everything like that. No, mm. and it's only admitting some. It says honestly, I am not there yet, and so on. Okay. Mm. A strong part of the role of the ego is to deny the self. It will deny uh, its origin as the self. It will seem like it's going and trying and doing all the mantras and everything it's doing, but right at the door, it says, "Come in." It will say, "Just a minute, just, just uh, I'll be back." Okay, and maybe next life, maybe some other time, but you will not go in because it doesn't feel good enough. It will never feel good enough. 
for the self. It will feel good enough for many other things, but for the self it will start to back away, it start to bring up all this self-criticism or other criticism or something like that. Hmm? Because one thing, because it is not true. The ego identity is not true. Your consciousness, you are not the person actually. The person is only a mask worn by consciousness for a while, which somehow it is God's will that consciousness will somehow fall under the spell or the hypnosis of believing that it is a person and live the life based upon personhood. Mm -hmm. Uh, this uh, this I, I can see and, and understand that yeah. the, this is all a, a thought process, but uh, it's, it's a thought process based thing, it so it doesn't exist as only as a thought. Yeah. Um, but somehow it, it, uh, it's actually it's a bit like a TV. Uh, the, the, the way a TV attracts attention, yeah. you know, when it's on and it's in, in the corner of your eye and you still have to go look. It's, the mind seems like that. It's like a TV screen, yes. and it gives, tries to give you pictures that are interesting. So your attention goes there, and once your attention goes there, it actually, just it doesn't give pictures which are interesting. Mm. It gives pictures, and you are interested. Yes, yes. <laughs> because well, it just the continues until there is something apparently I'm interested in. <laughs> as long as you have some interest, the pictures yes. will keep on appearing. Yes. <laughs> We keep the show going. <laughs> yes, <it's true. laughs> when you begin to see that the person itself is also phenomenal, then a deeper awakening will emerge whereby you realize, but I'm the witness of this person. And the day that it is really seen fully inside your heart, the person and all of its miseries and its attractions will start to leak away. Mm. And what will remain, which is also here now today, is the bright light of being. Mm. This is what is, you will discover. Mm. Yes. And I have to say again, it is here right now. It is the, the one that is truly here. The rest is only tourist. Everything is only a tourist. Every feeling, every thought, every projection is only a visitor. It cannot keep itself. It will change. And we, consciousness, adopting the person as our uh, basic reality, come under the influence of that change also. So you missed the change part. Yeah. We, being consciousness, mm -hmm. identifying with the tangible time-born body, mm -hmm. to say that this is what we are, mm -hmm. um, we come under the influence of time, like the body also. Hmm? Just yes. through belief, not through yes. actuality, but through belief, we believe that into existence, and we suffer the consequence of that belief. So the moment I stop believing that as the truth, yeah. Will that change? Everything I mean, changed. if I can change that. Believe. Yes, yes. You cannot stop believing something just like that. Mm -hmm. You can only cease believing something when an insight greater than the thing believed in is revealed to you. Yes. And then you'll drop the whole belief. Actually, it will drop by itself. Yes. You don't even need to drop it. Yes. Yeah. So this is this is my desire to uh, let it drop in the heart. The, the understanding yeah. of who I really am. We don't have to wait for that. We can look again now, freshly. Mm -hmm. Because whatever you see, whatever you see, whatever you perceive or remember or imagine, all of that is phenomenal. It means that it cannot exist 
independent of your perceiving it. Do you follow this or not? The things cannot you they are they are nothing if they are not perceived by you. They don't register in your consciousness. So whatever you see, even the idea you have of who you are, all this all this um, depends upon the weakness to say that it is or it is not or that it appears or that it disappears or whatever. That weakness of all of these uh, that which weaknesses everything, everything else, even very subtle, subtle, subtle things, is weaknessing them. Can that itself be weaknessed? I can't tell. I don't know where actually I am. Uh. It is it is a good answer you are speaking. There is something greater than knowledge actually. Being. Being is greater than knowledge. The fact that you are, you exist, you know I exist. Yeah, but as a body and a mind and yeah. But the body and mind you witness, isn't it? Yes. If you can witness the body and the senses and the mind, who are you the witness of them then? Where is your the location? Self. The self. But I seem to be looking always at the inside out instead of outside in. What is the location of that which can perceive outside and inside simultaneously? Around. Is this your experience? You see, every word you speak, in fact, the words are great, but you have not caught up with them. You see, the evidence of your observation, they are actually exposing. Uh, the self, but somehow it seems like you are not aware of it. It, it is so obvious that I I cannot be aware. Of, I mean, I'm aware of it that it's very obvious, but it doesn't go like that. It doesn't click. Yeah, it, it cannot it click. <laughs> if something clicks, you are there to hear it. Or maybe yeah? I should click then. Suppose a mosquito is flying, and I did that. Eh? I caught him. Did he hear that? Did he hear it? <laughs> if, it, if it clicks, something click, and you are still here, you cannot be the click. You heard the click. Can I be the, mos Can I be the mosquito then? <laughs> you are joking, huh? <laughs> it, it, it is just we can only play because it is so ridiculously simple. In fact, what I'm pointing is so simple. But mm. maybe our way of using your mind in the classical sense mm -hmm. creates much more difficulty, yes. because you are searching to find an objective, yes. you know, thing that you can say, "Ah," and even if yes. it's not like that, you're saying at least it must be some kind of click or something. Yes. But that will also just be a sensation, some phenomenon that yes. will also pass. Yes. The self cannot be that. That is also seen. It is also seen. And we can keep on admitting that everything in experience is seen, it is perceived. We can do this today, tomorrow, next week, next year, if we are around, we can keep on doing that. But the point would be, who or what observes all of that? And don't give just mental answer, don't want the answer as a concept.
You must be the answer. Not give the answer. You must be the answer. If you are not the answer, it's only another concept, and we will go yay for two seconds, and then after next something. Because our appetite for experiencing never seems to slow down. So if it's more experiencing, okay, that's nothing new. But what about to experience the experiencer itself, to perceive the experiencer itself, and yet not be different from that experiencer? Uh, this, I don't know how that is possible. Yes. Yeah. You cannot know it, not with that. You cannot know it with that. You can only experience it directly yeah. and be inseparable, in fact, from the experience. You see, but we quickly uh, give it to the mind and then you go back into confusion again. You see. When the aspiration is genuinely for freedom, everything becomes simple and light, open and clear for you. When the aspiration is for knowledge, it will take time. When it's for freedom, it will take no time. I don't think I'm interested in knowledge. Hmm? I'm not interested in knowledge. Okay. Then you will not need time. What is it in you that does not need time? Uh, that which is still. and unaffected by the functioning of the body, functioning of mind, functioning of intellect. It is completely untroubled, untouched, unaffected by their play. Listen and, 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 and seek out in yourself, what are my words pointing to? It is very simple. You are observing the trying mind. The mind is trying to, to do something. This trying mind, don't follow him. There is no action to take, in fact. There is no action to take, because if it requires an action to produce it, then it cannot be natural and it cannot be now. It must be the outcome of some kind of experiment, some kind of effort or something. But this is before effort even arises, you see. Imagination not needed also. How does perception function? Does it burn any calories? Simply to perceive, you wake up and the, the senses are functioning. Did you go and switch them on one by one? They are all functioning by themselves. Are you using any energy at all for them? Only until you identify. When you identify, you start to burn calories with them. Without this, you are like you are almost like an empty camera. You can look through it, it looks exactly the same, but nothing is recorded at all. It's not the greatest example, but it's not a bad one. <laughs> like a camera with no SD card, no film in it. In a sense, uh, Sage's mind is like that, very clean, very pure. We venerate knowledge, we think, oh, this is this, and oh, this is that, oh, this is this one, and look at this, the same. Sh the mind is developed that kind of complexity. 
but in innocence, we think to say that this is a bell, and everybody, ah, oh, yes, that's a bell. We agree. This we call knowledge, eh? but. The word is only a symbol for something. Other words are applied to the same thing. You see. There is an inner sense. I am not saying that we should stop uh, seeing a tree as a tree and a cow as a cow. That is not what the point. I am saying that we believe in this so strongly, and uh, our Intellect is flowing along channels which are strongly conceptual, and you have much wider power than this, simpler power also than that. It seems that I'm 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 pushing myself, I'm pushing to be myself, something like that. Yes, 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 yes. But the very pushing is watched from the self. You see, I am pushing to be myself, but the very effort to be yourself is already watched from your effort, less self. Who gets it? <laughs> good, good. <laughs> These are thoughts that are very, very appealing in the human kingdom because it has been our conditioning to believe these things, and nobody's ever come up and say, "Look, you know." <laughs> Like the emperor's new cloak or something. You all know many the story. Nobody comes and says, "Well, yeah, but it's all thought. It's just your thinking." So we keep on, yeah, but this is this, and no, no, this, this. It's simple. The effort and the one making it to try and be the self is fictitious. It's totally imagination. You are the self. You are yourself. We may attach other concepts to that, and uh, and the belief that I'm, I am this body and that is a fundamental truth, and all of these things. Then it gets contaminated somehow. But and it will take a little time. Somehow, paradoxically, it takes time to recognize the timeless. It it seems that that uh, uh, parts of um, how do I say that uh, it, uh, the experiences I had where I felt I was as a self. Maybe I'm not saying this right. I would say to myself, this is like. This is the self. This is like this is me. This is mm. the self. Mm. But that means that there are two. The moment I can say that, yeah. So the, okay. it, the self is observed by something. Uh, the self only experiences mm. the self mm. Mm. from the self. There is only the self. <laughs> I know this may seem a bit uh, far-fetched because we are so strongly uh, that you know. Okay, there's other things, and I can admit with that. I can say, of course, you know, this is a bell and it's not a glass of water and so on. This also that facility is there to speak like that. That is fine, mm -hmm. but for what you want to know somehow and to to recognize, mm -hmm. it's not necessary to know about these things. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not necessary to know about anything in the phenomenal world. It's not necessary at all to know anything about them, <laughs> except that they don't exist independent of your perceiving them. For everyone, the world is only according to you, according to our conditioning and habit. Training, belief, identity shapes the world that you think you see. Mm. It, it's our own interpretation. Interpretation, yes. That's okay. 
the magnificence of consciousness is like this, that it allows even that, that can also be there, and still you can know the Self and be the Self. With all of this, you don't have to uh, erase your knowledge. You only have to recognize your true position and what you are. Mm. You know, it feels like I'm really sitting in it somehow, but yeah. Forget about you. Is it possible? Don't take it personally. Also, what is it? <laughs> definitely don't take it personally. Mm. Forget about you. <laughs> is it possible? Mm? Can you blow it away like a fan? It is a way. It's not really enough to make the effort. Just some misunderstanding is clearly recognized and some deconstructing begins, some great unburdening is happening totally spontaneously. Don't be frustrated. <laughs> we still have some investments in the realm of phenomenality, which, if it's superficial, it is okay. But if it is embraced very strongly by personal identity, it will clog up the flow and you will not flow so well. You see? And sometimes we are not sure, we are not aware that there is some psychological and uh, uh, emotional attachments and you may say ambition or aspiration within the world of the very thing that some, somehow we are perceiving in the wrong way. Sorry, in the wrong way? Meaning that perceiving from the place of person, your yes. picture of the world from a person is a very unreliable thing. Yes. Yeah. This is why when we begin to speak with each other, you see that people have different views of the same thing, and you begin to either feel over challenged about it, and uh, because uh, somehow your view you may come to see is highly overrated and uh, others have a much higher view than you or something. It's all good at some level. I think my, my uh, personal or emotional uh, uh, attachment uh, is uh, towards women and is? women, towards, towards women, women and yeah, relationships. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That seems to be the strongest pull uh, the mind can, you know, mm. come up with the stories. Mm. But this is this is one I see. When you say it's the strongest pull, would it be so strong as if, for instance, God were to appear with you to you and say, um, "Today, you know, I call you into my kingdom," and then a beautiful lady comes and says, "Oh, Brian, I've been looking for you." Who will, <laughs> who will you go with? You know? Tough question. <laughs> but a very telling one also, because if you are, many people they can feel they have an attraction for something, but if they felt like they met. <gasps> If you've met someone or a being who has this kind of impact on you, like this, they can drop everything. Hmm? You must have something must happen in your life where you'll drop everything for it. You must encounter something. Some person, something must happen to you. An insight, an awakening that is so powerful that you'll leave everything for it. Everything you leave. Other people say, what are you doing? You leave this, you leave your home. It's as if everything walk out of it all together. <laughs> Is it possible? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We 
we don't appreciate or are we capable of evaluating a state until you are moving out of, out of it into another state. Then you can say, Oh my God, it was so heavy. But when you are attached to it, you don't know its weight, because you identify. It seems because a, a beautiful woman would be so gratifying to, to my ego. Yes, for a time. For a time, yes. <laughs> That's where the pull comes from. It's it's an ego thing, very much. But when you indulge, yes, because all human beings feel the bite of desire. It is, no. But if you indulge, then it becomes it can become an obsession, and then the strength of an obsession is that it has the power to hold the beingness hostage. Meaning that. When I presented to you that if God Himself came to you and say, My son, come, come with me into timeless existence, and the dolly bird come and says, Hey, man, I've been looking for you. You are both. <laughs> I've never been you called. He says, I am both of them. <laughs> Perhaps this this challenge must come to you, because sometimes you must actively choose something. It's part of the play, because if there is really a choice to be made, the choice will be to either go along to try and satisfy the phenomenal attraction. Or to stay as the witness of it. If you stay as the observer of it, you may feel something, uh, but if you stay as the observer, all that will fall, and you'll be very happy that you made the right choice. I believe this too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Where is peace until you discover it? Uh, not in my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is freedom until you find it? Where is it? Not in my head. Then look somewhere which is not your head, then. Hmm. Hmm. And look with the urgency as though you must find this right now. You'd be amazed at what is possible when you feel you are in the you're in front of all impossibility and you have to survive you will find muscles you don't have power you have never imagined but if you say tomorrow you will postpone I won't. I won't. <coughs> then leave everything now. Leave, leave everything aside now. Then you have given me a hope. Leave everything aside then that you have been talking about. Forget about all of this for a moment. Just leave them aside. And anything that you may want, even like I really would like to be free from my mind, just put it down. Put that down also for now. And uh, we can look at it again. Now keep the microphone. Keep the microphone you must hold. But leave everything else. <laughs> huh? You leave all past. And I'm serious about it, because you've been here now for 15 minutes. I think it's a good time. It's a good time to, to find this. Leave everything now that you speak about. You've, you've aired it. You've put it out. And even 
any idea about who you believe yourself to be and what you've done in the past and what you like to happen in the future and women and God and every, just leave everything alone for a minute to be completely empty. So nothing in your pockets, nothing in the pockets. It doesn't matter if some thoughts come buzzing around. That's not your business. Don't you get involved with them. And don't be waiting. Okay, now what? What's going to happen? No next. Not, not next. And then you can say about this, where are you now? Some sadness was watched, mm. is watched. Mm. OK, let's let it be there, just like a cloud is in the sky, you don't have to watch it. Just let it just go by itself, you leave it like that. Yeah. You're empty. Just like the sky is not counting the amount of clouds that are passing, uh, you stay like that. Whatever is there, not, you're not taking care of anything. Don't be taking care of anything. And don't hold on to any self image. How are you here? Transparent. Perhaps you can perceive your transparency. Mm. Mm. Any ambition? Any desire? No. Any restlessness? No. Any identity? No. Is this a disappointing discovery? <laughs> no. You have something you want to say? Ah, spacious. Yes. This is uh, the state and fragrance of one's natural being. This is your natural state. It's not on the way to somewhere else. Uh, it's not waiting. It's wonderful. Yeah. Mm. When will it end? <laughs> huh? Where is its natural end? Does it have a natural end somewhere? No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no. <laughs> it's very good. No? Hmm? This is a simple thing. Natural state for everybody is like this. Hmm? Leave everything aside. You don't have to kill anything. Just leave it and pay attention to. Yeah. Don't be anything. You see also like that. And it is not painful and immediate also. Because you are not creating, you are not in a process of creating a self or perfecting a self or keeping something going. So there is peace, no? But there is no peacekeeper. There is just peace. And a natural intuitive awareness of your own existence. You know somehow I am, but what this I am is, you can't say. <clears throat> so simple like that, simple like this. Now, the mind is not dead. He is going to come back. I don't want to go there. You should not be afraid of that. Whether you won't want to go there or not, He will come and bring cousins and uncles and everything <laughs> with Him. It is like a human being. It seems rare that a human being will just get away with that. He's going to come and find any button, any weakness. Women. Women. <laughs> you give in that easily, huh? <laughs> I'm such a pushover. You're such a pushover. Yeah. It's okay to be pushed over. And then realize yourself cannot be pushed over. <laughs> you have the adva <laughs> you have the advantage at the moment to discover all these things. <clears throat> but if you're keeping something, you are defending a weakness, like you know. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. then it will come, yeah. and she will be beautiful. Mm. <laughs> But it will all be for your good. <laughs> because many people, it's easy to say, Yeah, I'm free, there's nobody living here, no, no, no trouble. You see? Because if you want to make excuses, Advaita will provide you the best excuses. Nobody here. There's nobody to do anything. It is, huh? So you can be lazy, huh? huh? So you can be very lazy. No, you just be the self. And then things like lazy or not lazy mean nothing for you. Nobody will buy your attention with things like that anymore. Lazy and lazy, this beautiful girl. It will not mean nothing at all when you're in your strength. Hmm? Yeah. That's not to say you may not meet someone very beautiful like this, but it will not be out of neediness. Hmm? Because that's a kind of suffering, yes, isn't it? I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Needy, not needy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes.
just keep in that state of that kind of uh, sense of neutrality. Uh, doesn't matter what's happening in the body, palpitations, mind run, just stay in that that empty space. And uh, they will lose. If you don't go with them, so in, in initially, you know, you, you you may have to put some energy to just keep just being present and simply just being the self like that. And then gradually even this effort will go also. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. Come. Thank you. Beloved Guruji, uh, after so much burning, all of a sudden, a few days ago, an insight came. The me that I believe to be involved in observing the flow of thoughts, suffering from time to time, mind storms, keeping quiet, the me that you are talking, the letting go, enjoying the inner peace, surrendering, etc., has been seen uh, one with these movements, an object engage with other objects, unreal. At the same time, in the same instant, I realize that the place I have been always looking from didn't change at all. The insight and the understanding of it, the very seeing, the fake me, the joy, the relief, and the great space perceived were appearing like in a bubble in front of the same source I already knew. It has been, and it is, constantly present and always the same, but I thought it was just a temporary station on the way to some ultimate destination. Now I found myself contemplating this point from an unexpected angle, and I'd like to look together at what my insight brought up, what is and what may not be true. It became clear that there is no deeper, higher, beyond to go inwardly. It's more an uncovering of what already is that happens by removing false beliefs all powerfully supported by grace. Actually, I feel it is only grace operating. So, the sense of clarity perceived comes for the absence of what paradoxically doesn't even exist. I want to read this again. Actually, I feel it is only grace operating. So, the sense of clarity perceived comes for the absence of what paradoxically doesn't even exist. This is my direct experience and all I know for now, whatever it is. Part of what you speak, my beloved Guruji, is not my truth yet, but I know that the Self is also in this seeming ignorance and my heart is all peace and trust. I just am is now becoming more and more true in my heart and understanding. Because truly, there is no thing to identify with for more than a moment. If it happens, if it happens, is now detected much quicker than before. But the most sweet discovery is that once I see it, there is nobody here suffering or concerned about what the mind says, or if the person comes back in some situation. This new detachment takes no effort. It is natural and beautiful and makes the discernment more simple. I feel so grateful and light for no specific reason. Thank you so much 
to let me stay with you and the Sangha with endless love, gratitude and devotion. Andrea from Mandesaj. Huh? So what we can do now? I don't know. All I know is written there. All you know is written here. And all you are is... <laughs> all you know is written in this. But this is not what you are. This is your insight. Yes. Uh, you see, ah, oh, but. Actually, the, the main point of my letter is. Yeah. That I was already here. I had this thought or idea that inwardly I had to go like deeper. Or my, the point, the source of my seeing was just. And hybrid, uh, mm -hmm. something not, not um, ultimate. Yes. And then when this insight came, I discovered I was looking from this exactly the same place yes. I've been looking always to all my thoughts, all my fears. And this, this, just something dropped there. Mm. And I see the things like working like a, in the opposite way. There were nothing, no place to, to go deeper because it, yeah, and I was used like in, to, to think about like some higher or deeper place where the... There, there's two things, there's two ways. One is that somehow um, one sees now that everything is emanating from the Self. Everything, whether any function of the senses, the mind, the identity, habits, everything, it's only some phenomena arising and dissipates by itself and I'm still always just here. You see, like that, you know? Yes, it's, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then also, when you say like there is no necessarily any deeper, higher, ultimate, it is understood also from that place, but still at the same time, when the consciousness wants, because perhaps there is no greater, no higher joy than when consciousness contemplates itself. It's simply marinating in its own, in its own perfect. Perfectness. Yeah, actually, it's mm -hmm. something pretty fresh. It's just one week, yes, yes. more or less. Yes, it was yes. the day I cooked the pasta for you. I said, "Can yeah. I speak to you two minutes?" Uh -huh. Then it didn't happen. Also, because I'm, I mean, I still, f I'm still feeling some shyness. Uh -huh. But then it was very useful because in this week, more little insight came, mm. and and somehow <laughs> it's more clear now. And, and what, what I what I mm, what I'm observing now it's just uh, just attention is like f a feel I mean f a, it's like more attracted to what is inside yes. than the objects outside. This is beautiful. But I mean not not what is like I mean what is what I can see f uh, f mm, from my eyes it was already like not so interested. But uh, what is inside? I mean, the, all the flow of thoughts, or, or uh, contemplating my behavior. So I mean, all all is inside. It was still like sticky. It was still like a, um, painful. There was the one who uh, was suffering, uh, this, like these mind storms and all of this. And now what I see now that. There is only attraction towards inside, mm -hmm. and there are moments. I don't know how to put it in words. Like I, I would like to hug myself. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, I would speak before like that, that at a certain point, uh, because you are you uh, you have been staying with this looking and this urge, uh, brought this insight, 
And then I would say sometimes to some people, go home, get in your sleeping bag and zip yourself inside. Don't come out, we want to see you. You stay like this and just marinate in, in this. Because this now used to have fascinations for lots of things, but now it is a self-fascination. Yes. Yes. It just wants to be with itself. It's just yes. sort of marinating in it in itself. No? That Actually, is now I remember mm. around one year ago that Zimar in May mm. had a powerful opening mm. for maybe one day. Mm. It was just simply clear the illusion of the world and the relationships seen through the mind yeah. and no birth, no death, all of this. And then somehow, disappeared it was not my it was not alive in me mm. but something like like peace and some an inner silence and the sense of the problems few things they like they dis, they didn't disappear yeah yeah and and i just stay put but what I realized here, thanks to my teammates in Saja, it's that I was, as you said, like a, a silence, joy, contentment is the fragrance of the being. Don't build a house on it. Don't I, be. Don't build a house on it. Yeah. And I did it mm. unconsciously. I was just staying in that silence, in that peace mm. and but also protecting this fragrance. Honor it, yes. Yeah. Love it, love it. You no, no, love no, 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 no. It was more protecting. protecting. It, it, yes, it was more like uh, living this bubble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. were, and I realized here in Saja uh, the fire of self discovery was like diminishing. Mm. And when I had some feedbacks from my teammates, and when, and the one or two days later, you said, don't build a house on it. Something clicked. And then the, the letter of Shoba came, uh, and, and the puja for your mom. I don't, it, I don't know, something happened. Yes. It was not in my hand. It was something just mm. And then so much burning came uh, until this insight, I, I don't know, I cannot say it's a great insight, or or not, but in the inside, what was really amazing and, and surprising was the discovery that, that I've been always here, mm. watching and observing and living, or whatever, all of this, but I was not aware of it. Mm. Yes. I thought it was just some blend of mind and whatever mm -hmm. and being <laughs> what I like I know I want I feel to speak <laughs> <laughs> there's something new some new feeling coming up in this week it's uh, the, the old knowledge it doesn't make sense anymore somehow about my this path on the self self discovery uh, because I see now it's it was so much polluted by mind and by expectation and by fantasies and and I don't understand and I don't know maybe it's like this and, and that and now there is so much space and and not need to know something more w what is coming what some insight or some some new understanding is just welcome and it's fine mm. it's much more light and more simple it's i feel so simple continue enjoying <laughs> continue enjoying because there's nothing i can tell you to do just you continue enjoying because the, it produces its own self fascination and you, you will just move by the, in the energy field of that you will move in the in the vibration of that, it's just continue getting more and more turning in, turning in. So mm. 
<laughs> and don't make any conclusion about anything. Mind already came with yeah, yeah. kind of, but I know, yeah. but I know you, you, yeah. you told us yeah, all of yeah. this, and yeah. now it's getting very, it's become very useful. This kind yeah. of advices yeah. and pointings that before yeah. I was, yeah, understanding, but not not like um, yeah. it, I don't know, they were not like needed. Some I don't know how yeah. to explain this. Yeah, now yeah. now, for example, what your voice is coming very often. Every day, say uh, at some point, saying when there is some identification with something or something is like affecting me, aff affecting me, <laughs> not anymore, maybe it's like make me believe I'm affected by something. Mm. And I found I find myself like contemplating this movement, and, and your voice is coming every day saying, What if you drop all of this? back to silence mm. it's just oh, oh, it's stopping i don't know yeah. it's just yeah then there are many things mind is coming also with like okay you, when guruji says uh, can you die i have no an answer now mm. or are you everywhere i can say i cannot say now mm. But you keep yeah, quiet. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, keep quiet yeah, is yes, very good. Yes. It, it, this is what you are saying, actually. I, actually. I don't have any answer. I don't know. Yeah, just you. There is, there is yeah. some new wisdom who is mm. capable to balance mm. something in science. You just drop it. Mm. It's, it's it's fine. Mm. It's so so nice. Okay, very good. <laughs> Thank you. Very good, very good. Thank you. Wonderful. Good, good. Will you come for me? Guruji, yeah. Prana, yeah. thank you so much for having me here and thank you to Sangha. It's so beautiful, it's so yeah. overwhelming, you know, yeah. when I see everyone working in so much harmony and silence and, you know, sitting in the kitchen and working for the construction and, you know, it's all pure seva and service. Yes, I, yes. It's, it's just so overwhelms my heart and you know, make it so full. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for having me here and you uh, know, letting me be very happy, and very happy, experience yeah. it yes, yes. with each one of here. Yes, yes. I was thinking what what do I have to ask? You know, what do I have to know or ask you here? And I feel that on mind level, I can ask many questions, you know. Like it comes that, okay, if self is here, if it's so easy, then why do we still have only few saints, you know? Like why do only such, you can, it's so handful, you know, you can really count people who, are, who, who have known it, who have reached there. I know it's it's there, it's easy, but it's still, where are we stuck? Is it our fears? Is it our thoughts? Is it our desires? What is it? If it's, if we read all the books, uh, everybody says it's easy, it means not everybody, but all the beings who have reached, who have known it. Then also the answer comes like, yes, probably it's like Srishti, when you go to seventh class, before it seems difficult, but when you pass it, it seems easy, you know? But, but then more, the deeper things come that, but what is it, where, where is Rishti, where are you stuck? I keep introspecting, what is it now? 
miles after mile, milestone after milestone? Is it, are we more stuck into our desires, our fears, our thoughts, or our lack of finding it? So on this level, I ask these questions, it comes. But then also it comes, Srishti, whatever on mind you would ask, or you can, you can get some answers. But on my being, I know that if I would just be here in silence with you, just even holding hand, looking into your eyes, my being would receive it. It would get all its answers. It would, it would get something what it is looking for. Everyone gets what they're looking for, actually, at some level, uh, according to your capacity at the time, you know? And sometimes we think we want this thing, but when it comes and it's really available, we run away. You see? Because it's easy to say, yeah, I want to be free, I just want to be free. I say, okay, well, let's take a look. And then, you know, you mean today? Uh, yeah, yeah, but I thought if you want to be free, you want to be free today or next week is better for you or what? You see, so when you come, they say, "Oh, I didn't realize it's so available." I say, "But is it good news or bad news?" I say, "It's good, you know." But you already feel there is some reluctance. Mm -hmm. So it's important if you have that urge in you, and some people do. They have a very burning urge, and some way I cannot say how and nothing, but they get the burning that need to happen. Something, something something stirs within them, they come to that place. But you must be willing to, to, to come out. And don't say, you know, oh, but I'm too shy and um, I don't like to talk in front of people. I said, That's a small price to pay for freedom. <laughs> With my own master, many times I wished, you know, that I could have one-to-one, -one, you know. You know ask him my number one question or something <laughs> like this. But, no, it's not possible. My my one-to-one my -to -one took place in front of 400 people. I had a 400 to one. You see, like this. Because you have to use your chance. And there's something beautiful when you step you step forward like this. And uh, especially if you feel shy. And, uh, and even better, because something drops, you know, like an old skin drops. And it's like, uh, it's very important sometimes to come to that point. Where you don't, you run out of moves. You have no move left to make. You see, or you're so helpless you cannot do anything at all. These are great moments for a human being. When you come with that, when you're so, uh, you know, desperate. I say that if you are curious, you will learn. But when you're desperate, you discover, you find. You see, because you have no space to waste to be entertained, to wait for your perfect moment, waiting to be brave. You no, know, your call is now. You say, I want this, yeah, okay, no, no, no. So, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 okay, the door is closed, sorry. Next time. You have to sometimes move like this. Life play like that sometimes. So, some questions, I cannot answer them, because I don't feel them, I don't feel, you know. Sometimes people ask, you know, what is the right way and what I, I don't know. Just, uh, you see, because it's like you go to the zoo and you're putting, you know, sort of like um, peanuts, you're throwing peanuts at the lion. Mm. And he's just, um, somebody comes, uh, tuna fish, tuna fish for the lion, tuna fish. He says, he's not interested. Because he is really saying, why don't you stick your head and I, <laughs> I might become very interested, is it? <laughs> so if you want this, you have to be willing to put your head inside. And uh, everything becomes good. If you put your head in a tiger's mouth, even a tiger has just finished eating, you put your head in his mouth. 
you're going to have something gonna, good is going to happen. <laughs> and I feel we have to come to the fire, have to come to the, you have to come to uh, God, come to truth like that. And it is what also provides true grace, the fire for that. It puts in your heart the fire, the urge. You know? Something starts as an urge, then it becomes urgent. And urgency becomes emergency. And then everything else vanish. Then you will be free today. Some people they cannot wait. They cannot start sadhanas that's gonna take six months or six years. They say, I don't have time. It has to be today. This type of meeting I like very much. Meetings that have uh, second appointments and third appointments, they are good also, and it's okay. But when you come with this, no, no, no. but not now, as in you know, sort of anxious now, not just anxious, not out of merely an emotional state. But with a real sense of urgency, because look, I'm I've run, I'm running out of space. I have nowhere to go. Hmm? There's no space left for me in all of this world now. As big as it is, there's no space left for me. The only thing left for you is to vanish. Then you have all the space in the universe. This vanishing is the most beautiful thing. I told you, did I tell you what happened? Because my own master told me like this. He said, if you wish to discover the truth, you must disappear. Like this, no? But I never heard words like that. I come to see him, I thought he was going to be kind. <laughs> yeah? so if you he read my letter and he said, if you yeah, if you will find the truth, to find the truth, you must finish, disappear. I mean, how does somebody carry out an instruction like that? <laughs> how do you dis? No. 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 How you do it? So it was not for the person. The person cannot do it. You see. Yesterday in the satsang, uh -huh. it was so amazing. It was so a breakthrough. That what you are just talking now, it, it happened. I, yeah. I just left my body and it was on the floor. Yeah. And, and it's not even the first time, even in Rishikesh, when I was there, it, it happened. Yeah. And, and I, do, I do receive what you are saying right yeah. now. It's just going, sinking in. Yeah. It's just sinking in in my belly, I would say, in yes. fact. Not even just in the heart; it's in the whole being. It's like it's like a sponge which is looking to receive all the wisdom you carry, all the light and love you carry. And then I feel that how it is possible, Shristi, if you maybe just touch him and you can just transfer everything, and <laughs> maybe just you know, if Master look into your eyes and 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 something just. You know, it, 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 it happens. It, it, oh, yes, it works like that also. You know, there is a story I remember in the Bible that says that Jesus was walking with some of his disciples. There was many people around them, big crowds of people, you know? and the woman was, part, was in the crowd, and uh, she was not well, but she, it came to her, if I could only just touch his Garment, you know, I'll be healed. You know. So she went and she touched while he's walking, you know, like this, touched, him, and oh, she became was healed, you know. And Jesus stopped and he turned around and he says, "Who touched me?" The disciple said, "Master, what are you saying? We are surrounded by huge crowds. I mean, you know, there are many people." And he says, "No, no, I felt power coming out of me." 
And then she was there. And then he said, "You know, your your faith has healed you, isn't it?" Now she didn't say, "If I touch his garment, maybe he will. Maybe, maybe I ask one of the disciples, is it all right to touch his garment?" No, she didn't entertain. She just went. Her 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 feeling and her actions were one. She did not have a space for doubt. And this is what happened, you see. Like that. Sometimes you come, you sit in satsang, and you may even have a sense that I don't know what if I understand anything, but some seeds have entered your being and they will sprout and bear very great fruits. It's not merely the intellect. Some deep level. Uh, this is the this is the thing. Hmm? We don't need. A, it's not. Uh, you don't have to be a professional seeker. You don't have to know how the right thing. No, you only have to have a heart that's beating for the truth, and you cannot wait. Like yours is. You came for a short time, but in this short time you have just been the sponge you talk about, even when you are not aware of it. Some kind of unusual osmosis is going on. <laughs> when I saw you for the first time in Rishikesh two years ago, I had been reading and I had been practicing Osho's meditation and from even when I was just 18 or 17 my always the question was what is true love what is truth why are we here for and when I saw you I was like ah this is how the enlightened master looks in body this is how you know I I never met Osho in body or you know or the other saints like Ramana Maharishi or the other beings. But when I saw you, I was like, yes, this is how a master feels in body. And, and from that very moment, it just it cracked my heart, you know, just seeing you. And it's also not that I would come every day, because maybe it's just sinking in slowly, and I'm integrating a lot of things together in my day-to-day -day life because I feel to practice that in your everyday medit in your everyday routine life is the test of meditation when I'm doing my business if my client is not paying me maybe 50,000 euros and I'm still able to handle it that comes my test of meditation how much peace I can still and how much still I can take it non-seriously in my heart and still handle it and deal with it. So this integration, this balance between the materialistic life, your everyday life, dealing with people who are not into meditation, who are not into maybe any form of yoga, meditation, who don't know anything apart from the corporate world. Mm. And you know, <coughs> and still you are spiritual, you know you don't want to, but just integrating both the things together is the most challenge, you know, sometimes. There is a way also that the one who discovered the Self, and it's not difficult, we should not come and think it's difficult. You see, just come and just say, I'm here, I'm here for this. <coughs> when you discover, forget about integration, you see. Because everything is spontaneously happening. Nobody can balance anything. 
No person can balance anything. The balance is already there. When you find the Self, recognize the Self, automatically you are in the field of natural harmony and balance. And these thoughts will just leave your mind, naturally. They just leave it. Because your life is so happy, it is just unfolding. It is less to do with action taken, and more somehow quietly just observing and moving with the flow. You see? Yes. And it becomes easier and easier. Yes. Even mm. yeah, I see that mm. in everyday life, even how everything unfolds, it's like you just get amazed, oh my god. Yeah. And you don't have to know. Even my coming here was like I had been wishing for it and it just happened. Yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Okay, time flew a bit today. Someone else want to come? You want to come? Ah, thank you. Uh, it's, what is this in here? Uh, some mint, a tiny one. <laughs> you are leaving today, huh? Yes. Uh, to where? To back to India? To Delhi, yes. Acha. You say to the Pali for me. Yes. You want the family all the love for me. Okay? Yes. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> good. Mm. So good. So good. Uh, thank you. Wonderful. Mm. Ah, very good. Very good. Mm. It's uh, I. Hi. Hi. Um, a little bit nervous. Uh, heart okay. beating, you know, uh, and um, I, I don't know wh which words are coming out. It's good, like <laughs> it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Me too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've been following uh, satsangs, video mm. satsangs. Mm. Uh, a friend of mine, <laughs> uh, my friend Agustin, is there. He showed me a video, a five minute video of you mm -hmm. and uh, and at the time I, I, w I just watched it and I felt something but like uh, oh this is this is something good mm -hmm. and then uh, I don't know how I kept watching videos and more videos mm -hmm. and then came Rishikesh last year uh. and that was like um, a driving force for me because every day there was a sad song uh, reinforcing what I was assimilating yeah, from yeah. Your, your pointings, ah. and uh, and I'm so happy, <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Really. <laughs> you live in Portugal? Where are you? No, from? I live in Granada, Granada. which is in sou southern Spain. Oh, you know? okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. My friends also also lives in Granada. Yes, yes, we <laughs> met before. No, I've seen you before. No, in this body. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that I've met everybody already. <laughs> but uh, uh, okay. So, uh, um, you know, I all my life since I was a kid, uh, mm -hmm. for the first time, I I felt fear. This feeling, mm -hmm. it it has been with me with the. Ego, we can say, mm -hmm. uh, for all these years, never abandoned, comes and goes. Mm -hmm. And this fear is what, pre now I know, what prevents me from being what I really am. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a, um, it is a problem to, to, to be who I, who I really am. 
but uh, I feel like it's not such big problem. You know, no, like it's not such a big problem because <laughs> who you really are, uh, it's out of that category of the mind. It's not like, you know, it's not afraid. It's not brave. The self is not brave. It's not afraid. It's not shy. It's not an extrovert or not like that. It's got none of these things are about it at all. No, no qualities. No quality, self. no quality. Mm, doesn't sound very attractive to the human conditioned mind. Uh, no quality. Why would you want something with no quality? <laughs> uh, you see, like that. It's, well, mm, it's like you, as the person, don't want something without quality. But something without quality is there. You can feel it. Yeah, you see? And uh, as you become more aware of this, this qualityless space within yourself, uh, the mind's interpretation of it um, becomes weak. As you come into the living uh, presence of it, then you s the most beautiful is when you are not apart from it anymore. The fear will try to keep separation, but all of this is imagined. All, 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 all is imagined thing. Still, no? it still has some grasp. Can yes. you say that? Yes, it has some but grip. But it's yeah. like uh, having less and less influence. Yeah. Yes. What is the biggest fear about? Mm. You can feel harm. Your heart can feel harm. Can you be mean physical, physical. Even physical, because I. Even have a physical um, pain in the in the heart, okay. uh, like an accumulation of uh, I don't know experiences, and the heart has felt them, and then they are there like uh, blocking or something, mm -hmm. and it feels physical. Yes, and also the identity and the fear uh, brings its own doesn't help to. Not at all. No, it intensifies even any kind of. Because uh, I think the ego likes fear because it's the way he can prevail. Yeah. No, because as long as there's fear, ah. there's something to be ah. interested in. And Have you found the one who is afraid? Fear we know, fear we know. But fear, <gasps> we know the symptoms, mm. we know the, the, mm, the expressions, no? Of the fear, mm -hmm. you feel energetically also. Oh, 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 something is like this, no? Mm -hmm. But the one who is afraid, yes. can we try to look on this? Have you found mm. the actual one? Identify mm. the actual mm. one who is afraid, the one who is really suffering. Mm. Um, now I feel like um, I used to identify a lot with the, with the sufferer. And I, f and I felt the suffering so much, mm -hmm. but uh, since I've been listening to you, uh, there's a, like a separation. There's sometimes I, uh, the fear comes and I cannot. It, it overwhelms me. Overwhelms me. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. But some other times I can, I can say, okay, <laughs> this is this is a very huge uh, feeling at the moment, but I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. And um, even the fear uh, lasts uh, less time mm -hmm. within me. Yes. And uh, that's why I think I am. Okay. What is it like to be overwhelmed by fear? When, when, when we say, uh, when it means overwhelmed, what happens when you're overwhelmed by fear? What happens? You freeze. You freeze? Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, also, you cannot go to the. Um, Observer position so yeah. easily, you know, like. Uh, but okay, suppose right now we are taken over by some strong feeling like fear, and like, whoa! But you are aware that this is happening, isn't it? Now I am more, I'm more aware. You're more yes. aware. Why are we not more aware before? Actually, we are aware, but we're not aware that we are aware. <laughs> Actually, it's more like that. We are aware because everything must feature somehow. Hmm? It doesn't take two seconds. Instantly, so you're aware because you're alive, and uh, so whatever happens, it makes some impact, some reading inside. So that's your awareness. You see, so we are aware of it. Even the body is completely taken over. 
there's, you are aware of it. And the more you can acknowledge that you're aware of it, then a space of uh, detachment can happen, and uh, then the feeling of neutrality can come in. When the feeling of neutrality is recognized like this, then the fear is bearable, meaning that you can just be a reaction in the body, but something doesn't even want to to stop it necessarily. It even makes use of it. You cannot stop it. Yeah, it just comes, and you yeah. you just have to be there. Yes, but I am asking, who is the one who suffers it? It's a very important question. You know, not just a mental answer will do, but it's an invitation to to look. At you know, okay, the fear is in the body, so you use the the fear to introduce the one who is suffering it. You must, if you can do this. Not many people uh, they want to do that. They, they they are too engaged with the fear to really uh, enter into it. So this is why when I'm with you, I like to take the opportunity to look together or something like that. You see, and fear has its place also. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes the 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 consciousness keeps the fear in the body somehow, because maybe if you were not afraid, then maybe some arrogance might build up. Sometimes the fear is there, then it you it holds back something, the arrogance, so it develops another part more, and when the other part develops, then it can release this one, then something gets more in more harmony. It's like uh, yeah. this fear is to face it. Like uh, it can you can feel this fear, then you feel very tiny and everything. Mm. The other phase is arrogance. Mm. When you don't have this fear, you f mm. it's like from inferiority to mm. superiority or something, yes. no? Yes. But you must also be aware that uh, something watches inferiority and superiority and see them both as sort of movements. But that which watches them does not suffer them. This you must become clear. It's very much, when I say, use the fear as part of your sadhana, it, it, it actually brings you back to the emptiness, if you use it properly, like that. No? Because it, it corners you. Mm. Corners? You corners, you corner, yeah, yes. corners, yeah. Still, mm. I, I have a sort of life which is very quiet, mm. uh, which I live in my own, mm. my own house, mm. and I am very, very peaceful life, mm. and very nice job. Mm. So, uh, like, fe I can forget a little bit about fear, mm -hmm. like that, and then, but uh, so I have a little, um, a little bit more as, um, space. Mm -hmm. But this space, uh, as long as, as there's fear, this space is not gonna, never gonna be enough. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all need a bit of trouble. <laughs> We need liberation. Have a bit of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> trouble is, is stretch, is stretch, you know, and also confronts your person, and uh, because you have to go beyond the person, you have to go beyond the person. Mm. 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 Okay. Okay. You have to come like today is your day. Today is the day. Today is the day. It has to be like that. You have to come like that. I don't want to do too much work. I'm too tired. You must uh, nah? then a little bit tick tick and then poof, like this. So oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I caught him. I caught him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> That's good. Like that. Because gentle answer sometimes is not not it. You have to look, you know. You have to jump in the fire, jump off this thing. Sometimes I put like that, and sometimes I say you don't have to do anything at all. There's nothing you have to do actually. In the truth, that's the most true. Yeah? But sometimes something has to move. Something has to move. Has to move, and stir, stir up a little bit. Then we can see what we have to look at. Yeah? Otherwise, your reading is too low. Sometimes the reading is too low. We can't see even check your pulse. I can't feel nothing. For nothing. Like hibernation? Yeah, hibernation. Hibernation. <laughs> Either hibernation or dead or something. <laughs> we have to find is he alive or something? Then something must trigger again. You see? Uh.
I met somebody like this in India uh, two years ago. He was like this uh, Indian man, and then I told him, "You want to help? Help, you know." I told him to do, take off your clothes, <laughs> take off your clothes, run down the road and come back. This is ashram <laughs> in Indian ashram. My God, he said, "No, no, you can't say to him like that in the ashram." You know? But I said, "But this would cure her very good, quick. <laughs> take off your clothes, run out there and come back. I, I keep your clothes for you." But he didn't do it. <laughs> I would hide the clothes as well. <laughs> then that must fix something, isn't it? It must burn something, isn't it? Yeah, it must burn something. You can do also. <coughs> no? Yes, yes, yes. No, thank you. Huh? Uh, Andres, like. Uh this clothes? Uh, we are not discussing it. We are just saying uh, you do. Or not. Uh, <laughs> one satsang in uh, the beginning of one retreat, you know, in Zima, you know. When was it? 2012. Was it like this? They said the end of the this is the end of the end of the world satsang, the the Mayan calendar. Those people talking all these things. Oh, okay, so the first satsang, first first satsang of the retreat, somebody came up on the stage, sit down like this, dressed in a lungi, and then took lungi off. <laughs> so I said, put your lungi back on. <laughs> You're not the one. You put the lungi back on. And I decided to tell him, but he was quite ready, <laughs> maybe too ready. <laughs> okay. Huh? Okay. Who is there? Who is there? You? Come. Yes, come. Namaste. Namaste. I felt ready to come. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any question, really. But this is you're the last question, and you have to have a question. Uh. <laughs> I put myself in the in, in the mouth of the tiger. Ah. Like when, when you when you said that, uh, yeah. I, I wanted to, to to see if there was fear yeah. to do it, yeah. and I felt a little bit of fear, yeah. not too much. Yeah. And then became a little bit more because I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And then my arm just came up and, and, and stayed there until you called me. Yes. And. And so probably I was just, I don't know, I don't know if I needed to, to so show is up. Your, is, your, is your head in or still I'm out? I'm sorry? Is your head in the tiger's mouth or still out? Totally in. In? In. In. When your head is in the tiger's mouth, you won't have anything to say. <laughs> Isn't it? You won't be discussing with the tiger when you have your head in the mouth. <laughs> it's true or not? Yes. Unless there's an echo. <laughs> if, if, if your head is in, it must only be echo <laughs> when you're in. Uh, seriously. Because uh, I, f I hear you, you know, I put something hand goes up, you know, this sums my chance now, yeah. Then your head is in.
Now you have no decision of yours anymore. Everything happened to this is only the tiger will take care of it. You don't belong to you anymore. The tiger will take care of everything. <laughs> Unless you're joking. If you're not joking, the tiger will take care of everything. Your head is in the mouth. No, no more, no more things to say. That is immediate surrender. Only once you surrender. You can't surrender and then when the head is in the mouth you change your mind. You cannot do it, it's finished. You don't get a second chance. <laughs> so you're a very lucky person. Yes. I cannot really speak. Hmm? I can't really speak. I don't want you to. Okay. You're disturbing my digestion. Just like that. <laughs> you said your your prayers are answered, no? Yes. 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 <laughs> Some, uh, yes. Somebody's coming today. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Radha Ramana Hari Govind Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govind Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govind Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govind Jai Jai Govind Jai Jai Gopal Jai Jai Govind Jai Jai Gopal Jai Govind Jai Jai Gopal Jai Jai Govind Jai Jai Gopal Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govind Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govind Jai Jai Govind Jai Jai Gopal Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govinda 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 Jai Jai Radha Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jai Jai Govinda Jai Jai Gopala Jai Jai Govinda Jai
We are going to take a break now, and um, after um, I come back in about 15 minutes or so, and it's a time that I use to answer some of the letters that come each day and so on, and I get this chance to do that here. So 
if you are very welcome to come back, take some chai and come and, and join us. And um, but if you have to leave, then be uh, have a safe and happy journey home and like that. But you are very welcome to come back. So thank you so much. Thank you. Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> So you've heard it, you're all welcome to come and partake in a chai offering and some cookies and then uh, we will ring a bell.